For weeks, some of the biggest names in conservative talk radio, like Michael Savage, have praised Trump and his bashing of the politically correct left and Republican establishment. But the conservative talkers are also pushing his rhetoric on immigration and his vow to revoke birthright citizenship for the children of undocumented immigrants and delivering the content straight to their millions of listeners. Well, let me straighten you out, Rosie. I don't know when you were born. You were probably born after 1994 when I started the radio. Uh, but my first book covered this subject, published in 1995. And that's my first political book, Rosie. I wrote many books before that, Rosie, in the field of health. But the fact of the matter is, we're not pushing Trump's rhetoric on immigration. Trump is pushing America's rhetoric on immigration, Rosie. You see, again, they're doing a propaganda piece here. And they're trying to say that we're, we're doing this just for ratings. Now, we really don't believe it, no. They're the only ones who believe anything. Only the left believes in their agenda. We on the conservative side, we don't believe in anything we say. It's just, just for uh, ratings. That's all it is. That's all it is. Rick Wilson, an unknown hack, a so-called Republican strategist. I never heard of him. No one knows who he is. He probably makes $14,000 a year and has to sub uh, in McDonald's somewhere. But that would make him a Republican strategist who has come under attack from fellow conservatives? Why does she lump the word Republican with conservative together when they're not one and the same thing? Again, propaganda. He said that he thought conservative talk radio's focus on Trump is a ploy to please listeners and keep them tuned in. The conservative media is more crowded than ever with sources of information. And though they still command large audiences, talkers don't have the same kind of hegemony they once did. All right, you get the picture. We don't really mean it. Only the left is a sincere, and Trump is, in, has invented the whole issue of illegal immigration. Then, I'm not going to read the whole article. It says, Trump's embrace of hardline immigration ideas like ending birthright citizenship matches up perfectly with the policies that some of these hosts have been promoting for some time. Okay, good. So at least she gives credit where credit is due. Then he names two unknown talk show hosts who have seized on a quote by Senator Jacob Howard, the original sponsor of the citizenship clause, that they're using to bolster their case that the 14th Amendment doesn't guarantee citizenship to the children of people in the country illegally. Uh, excuse me, the two unknown hosts got it from me because if you remember, I read it to you straight out in New York. Remember when I was in New York? I hadn't heard it from anyone before. Okay, so the copycats got it from me, and now they're saying they invented it. It doesn't matter. The point is the original senator who wrote the clause said it was never meant to grant citizenship to foreigners in plain English. Come on. Whatever. And that's that story. Now we can move on, dot me. Crazy time. Crazy time. There's Obama never missing an opportunity to stir up the masses of hate and stir up race war in America. He goes to uh, New Orleans and the anniversary of Katrina. Right away, I'm ready, the minority story again. This is after this minority went in a loony, a loony, loony bin minority, shot up two and killed white people because of alleged racism. He, this is the president back from vacation with the billionaires, goes to New Orleans and right away start already with the race and this and the people don't have an opportunity and then they don't stop. No, they don't stop it. Michael Savage newsletter from this week, we must reopen the mental hospitals to deal with the homeless. Now for three days, I have been talking about the sad disgrace of the city I love so much, San Francisco. I am talking about the corruption, the outright robbery of the billions of dollars in federal and state grants. I am talking mainly about filth and the bums in the streets. I'm talking about the aggressive bums in the streets. I'm talking about bums defecating in the streets. I'm talking about bums urinating in the streets. I'm talking about tourists are saying it. I'm saying that they don't want me to talk about it. I've been told that the city fathers or the transgenders who run it, I don't know who, the transgenders who run the city do not want me talking about the bums in the streets. But even transgenders are assaulted by them. They don't like stepping on fecal matter. Nobody likes it, but nobody will stop this. And that's why I've been talking about opening up the mental hospitals. Uh, what did I want to say? Maybe I do want to go to the Caribbean for a week in September before uh, the book comes out. And I have to s start telling you why you should. Because you, you should understand that it's an important book. And I'm not ready for it. It's too soon. It's not Labor Day. And the school is back already. The brats are back in school already. Thank God. Thank God they're not in the streets getting into trouble. I'm glad they're back in school. What are they learning? What are they teaching them in school now? America is bad. Mother and father are bad. The church is evil. Let's see. White males stole the world and made it unsafe for minorities. 
Let's see what else they teach. The flag is an evil sign of oppression. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the teaching now because the psychotic vermin took over the schools as well as everything else. I'll be right back. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. We're talking about creativity, neuroses. We're talking about super yachts, supermodels, that maniac who shoots that young reporter and the sound man in his twisted, sick mind, Mr. Victimhood marching around. Whatever anyone said to him, he took as a, ra a racial slur. If someone said to him in the radio station, God, they're really out in the field with that one, he thought they were referring to slavery. I, this guy was a nut. He fought with everyone, argued with everyone. They had to remove him. And then this poor woman was killed as a result of this maniac not being put into a nut house. Michael Savage newsletter, we must reopen the mental hospitals to deal with the homeless. I still stand by that remark. Just come to San Francisco and go to City Hall. Both inside and out City Hall, you'll see the, the wisdom in what I just said. Judge blocks Obama EPA rule as federal power grab over state waters. I don't even understand that story. Those kinds of stories don't appeal to me. Let's see what I have. Bye bye, Ronald. Obama's top labor arbiter dealt a blow to the franchise business. What else is new? Why should Obama's labor uh, arbiter want anyone to have a franchise or a business? I said we have to find a way to keep guns out of the hands of the mentally ill. Oh, did they go crazy. I happen to not be a fan of the NRA. I don't like Wayne LaPierre. I'll be very honest with you. I think that they're all greedy and they're in it for themselves. Now, up to a point, they do a good job, but like any other organization, it's all about the greenbacks for themselves. And uh, don't put them on a pedestal. The founding fathers were different than you and I. I love those guys. Why the founding fathers were different than you and I. How were they different than you and I? They were not superhumans. They didn't come from another planet. They were slaveholders. They were piggish. Some of them were not piggish. And they created a country and they wrote some good documents. And by the way, the great founding fathers, for those of you who buy this malarkey, one of the first things they enacted after the American Revolution was putting together the, the biggest army that had ever been seen in America to put down the Whiskey Rebellion uh, amongst farmers who didn't want to pay a tax on the whiskey they were making for themselves. There's your founding fathers for you. So I'm tired of making people into what they aren't. We are all basically at a, at a certain point the same. Some of us are far more intelligent than others, some are stupider than others, some are meaner than others, some are more beautiful than others. Some, But the thing is, is ultimately, at the end of the day, what are we? We're dust. We go back to dust. We start as a, well, I read the Bible on this. It's pretty ugly. They're pro, they're depressed, those guys. You know, the prophets were all depressed when you think about it. If you look, if you look at Isaiah and those guys, man, they needed medication. They were so depressed. They were walking around ancient Israel at the time. Everyone else was having a good time. They had leather sandals on. They were slaughtering sheep. They were knocking off lamb for lunch. They were uh, behaving like uh, this super yacht guy. They were having as much sex as they could everywhere they wanted. So these guys hated it because they didn't have any of that. They were probably miserable and poor. So they wrote a book, God's going to punish you if you have too good at the... You will be cast into the, into the fires of hell. How dare you enjoy yourself? Be like me, miserable and horrible. Walk around in misery, utter misery every second of your life. Wear ugly clothing. Stutter if you have... That's what it comes down to. A lot of it's based on jealousy. Here's a little news for you. FBI A-team leading serious probe of Clinton's private email server. Yeah, right. They're really going to get to the bottom of it. Obama's FBI is going to get to the bottom of the of Clinton's violation of every law in the land. An FBI A-team is leading the extremely serious investigation into Hillary Clinton's server, with the focus including a provision of the law pertaining to gathering, transmitting, or losing defense information, an intelligence source tells Fox News. Right. Barack Obama, the most honest president in the history of the world, and the FBI, uh, the independent as you can ever imagine, is going to really pursue this to the ends of the earth to get to the truth. Right. Yeah, I have total faith in the FBI today. People like this topic, the creativity, neurotic thing. I knew it would trigger talk. Do you think I want to talk about Huma's emails and uh, uh, Hillary's lying and cheating and stealing to get where she is and wants to do eight more years of it? Do you think I want to talk about things like that? Do you think I really want to read the news that did Hillary Clinton know the emails on the server were classified? You see how far Fox is moving to the left? They're already, they're already parsing it for Hillary Clinton. They attacked Trump. 
Martha Washington is finished. I don't care whether her ratings are good. She has no, no credibility whatsoever. Zero. Megyn Kelly has zero credibility. I don't care if her, her ratings go through the ceiling. She's just another beauty contestant of Roger Ailes. They built the whole network based upon uh, legs and lipstick. What are you kidding? Doesn't mean they're stupid. But it's legs and lipstick. Compare them to Wolf Blitzer. Who would you watch?